Defense Weather is sponsored by 42 Degrees and Sunny, smoking deals on smoking accessories. Learn more at 42DegreesAndSunny.com. That's 42DegreesAndSunny.com. First Defense Weather, the Southern Tier's only live and local weather source. Now, here's Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter. Well, a happy Monday to you and wanted to give you a, a look at the ski and snowboarding forecast here to start off with because just updated this morning. Uh, look at Holiday Valley at 20 to 59 inches basis, peak and peak 12 to 48, Cocaine 8 to 16, Hollymont 32, and Mount Pleasant 12 to 36. The bases are good out there and there's going to be a little bit of rain and, and uh, freezing rain coming our way, which is good for the ski resorts because it helps them harden up the bases and it keeps the, uh, and it keeps the season going into the spring. Winter weather advisory in place for all of Western New York and Northwestern Pennsylvania until 7 p.m. tomorrow night. And this is for our next storm system that's actually just off to our west. It's gonna be a very messy overnight tonight. And then tomorrow is gonna be a messy day with rain, snow, sleet, and maybe some freezing rain. So here are the weather impacts for you. The snowfall, very minor across the Southern tier, maybe about, yeah, about an inch, inch and a half of snow, no big deal. Uh, the ice accretion is gonna be our bigger concern but it's not going to be a full-blown ice storm, but there will be some slick spots uh, by the morning uh, commute tomorrow. Wind's not really a problem, temperature not a problem, and traveling might become a little bit hazardous with the slick spots overnight and tomorrow. So let's show it to you on Future Scan. Nothing through the day. We actually have a lot of sunshine out there early this afternoon. That's actually going to be filtered by some afternoon clouds later in the day. And then watch as we start to get into the storm system. It starts to pull south to north, so we're going to start to see the precipitation coming in overnight tonight after a, a, a dry storm. Start. Notice this pink and purple area right here. That is where we're going to see the freezing rain and uh, the sleet, and that's ultimately going to be confined mainly across the southern tier. So as you work up towards the Buffalo metro area, you're going to see the most amount of snow there, probably about a couple inches. But down, uh, but down across our way, there's going to be more mixing going on. So that's ultimately going to keep down our snow totals, and we may get into a few rain and snow showers as we go into the day on Wednesday. So these are the ice totals coming off the in-house computer model all the way through. Uh, tomorrow afternoon and we're looking at about a tenth of an inch of overall ice accumulation and again that's a relatively minor but it is enough to cause some slick spots on the roadways so keep your eyes out on that tomorrow morning especially when you go to walk to the car for the morning commute tomorrow your driveway might be a little bit slick so keep that in mind early uh, we have the early sunshine out there today clouds ultimately going to filter in later this afternoon not quite as chilly with a light wind 30 to 34 with northwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour tonight cloudy snow showers and sleet develop overnight and there's going to be, again, some slick spots, especially by the morning as it freezes overnight. 24 in the valleys, 28 at the immediate Lake Erie shoreline with a southeast wind 6 to 13 miles per hour. The 42 degrees and sunny 7-day, 34 tomorrow, and it's just going to be a very sloppy mess of rain, snow, sleet. And again, uh, do expect some slick spots from that 27 on Wednesday morning uh, rain and snow should taper off for the afternoon. Look at the temperatures go down into the upper teens for Wednesday for, uh, 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 for both Thursday and Friday and uh, we'll start Saturday 8 degrees, but we should rebound at least into the mid-20s, and then snow returns on Saturday with temperatures right around average in the mid-30s.